Welcome guys, thanks for clicking. Today we have an interesting lineup. Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 is undoubtedly a highly anticipated film. Do we have any hints about the plot or new villains for the installment? As for the director, any rumors circulating about who might be taking the helm? We will see. Scooby-Doo always brings a wave of nostalgia and fun. What's brewing for our favorite mystery solving gang on Netflix? The Lion King sequels trailer released big news. What's the buzz surrounding Mufasa? Are fans getting glimpses of familiar characters on new additions to the Bride? And Captain America updates are always intriguing. The new suit sounds exciting, I think. Are there any teasers about the storyline or any other characters joining the fray? I'm hyped up for all the movie updates I will talk about today. Let's dive into this cinematic whirlwind. We start with Spider-Man 4 director's update. So there's a lot of talk online about who might direct Spider-Man 4 and it's getting pretty intense. Some folks are saying some pretty wild stuff, like how Marvel and Sony might be considering Jordan Peele or Steven Spielberg for the job. I mean, that would be amazing, right? But let's be real, it's probably just wishful thinking from us fans. As much as we'd love to see them, it's not very likely to happen. Let's chat about some potential directors for the new Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland. One name that I've been popping up is Jonathan Levine. Ever heard of him? He's the guy behind movies like Longshot and Warm Bodies. Even though not many people might know him or his work, he's been talked about as the next director. Some folks might wonder if it's a good idea, but actually, it's a pretty realistic choice next to the others I will talk about. He's good at handling characters, so it might be not the worst decision Marvel Studios could make. What do you reckon about this pick? It's pretty common to see directors who started with indie or smaller films quickly move on to bigger projects. You can often tell how passionate they are about their work and how much they want to bring joy and excitement to their audience. A great example of this journey are the Russo brothers, who started with smaller projects and they went on to direct big blockbuster movies. Their dedication and love for storytelling shines through the films, making them a success for their audience worldwide. So the more realistic choice for me and what I would prefer much more is having the rise of Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis. It could be also the choice for the new directors because they already have a connection to Spider-Man and the production behind it. They wrote Spider-Man Homecoming so it would make sense to get them on board. What do you think? Let's go on with the Mufasa trailer. So there's this new Mufasa movie trailer that has just dropped. It's got Barry Jenkins directing, which adds a bit of uncertainty about how it will turn out. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the live-action Lion King movie. The animal acting didn't quite do it for me, but diving into the new trailer, there are some promising scenes, I have to admit. So Mufasa starts off as an orphan until he meets another friendly lion, and the journey shown in the trailer hints at an interesting story about royal bloodline and discovering their destiny. It's got me hopeful that the movie might just be worth watching after all. After watching a few scenes from the prequel about Mufasa, I noticed that the characters sometimes show too much exaggerated emotions, especially in one particular scene I remember. When emotions seem over the top, it can ruin the enjoyment of the movie. I hope they find the right balance of effects and behavior to make the storyline enjoyable for us. The original Lion King movie was a big hit, so I'm torn between thinking the prequel could be great or trash. It's hard to predict to be honest. I'm curious to see how it turns out, but I'm not overly excited just yet. What about you? Do you think the prequel will be good? Are you looking forward to watch it? So the new Falcon and Captain America 4 is going to be interesting for sure also, which was scheduled for May and fans are pretty hyped up about it. I think Sam Wilson makes a great Captain America. He fits the role well. Fans especially liked the last series of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney+. Plus. That show was pretty cool, I enjoyed it. Now the big question was whether Sam Wilson could really pull off being Captain America. Well, I think it's a great fit and it will work. But here's the twist, Harrison Ford, who is now playing General Ross, will be the bad guy. Red Hulk facing off against Captain America, it's got fans scratching their heads, a bit like, what's going on? The only point that doesn't make it completely weird is that in their history there was something up that can lead up to this, yes, but we will see how it looks and plays out in this series. When the idea of Red Hulk fighting other Hulks was first talked about, everyone was excited, including me, but now, behind the scenes, things have slowed down. Marvel decided they needed to redo some parts of the series, which takes a long 6 months. The delay means we'll have to wait longer than we thought. 
There's also news that the rest of Seth Rollins might be in this series playing a bad guy in the Serpent Society. But there's a rumor going around this part might be cut entirely, which will be disappointing for a lot of wrestling fans, including me. What do you think about the delays and changes in the roles and storyline that will be cut off maybe? Let's go on with Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo fans, guess what? There's awesome news. A live action Scooby-Doo series is coming to Netflix soon and it's going to be super cool. Gree Bryant is producing it and they're bringing in some great writers like Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg who work on movies like Jumanji and Mission Impossible. I'm so excited, I hope they stick to the interesting Scooby-Doo vibe with real people solving mysteries. I'm a huge fan of the live action stuff so I can't wait to see it. My dream Scooby-Doo movie will bring back the original cast when I'm honest because they are the ones I grew up loving but I know Scooby-Doo being alive for so long doesn't really make sense so I hope they come up with a clever storyline for this one. Write your comments about the movies. I always love seeing your comments on it. Let's discuss it together. And don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel creating more content for you. See you in our next video. Take care.